Hey guys, how's it going? This is Josh from LiveCA Chartered Accountant, www.liveca.ca. Uh, in today's video blog, I want to take a look at the CRA's My Payment System. So it's for paying your taxes online. Uh, no one likes paying the CRA, but uh, unfortunately there's a number of times you're going to have to. Uh, so in this case, let's say you get that GST HST return in the mail, uh, you fill it out, and uh, this time you owe the money. So let's see if we can pay that balance online using the CRA's My Payment System. Let's take a look. Okay, so to access the CRA's My Payment System, we're going to pin in here CRA My Payment System in Google, and it should be the first search that comes up. So let's click on My Payment. So here we are in the My Payment screen. Now it says here that you need to be listed in online banking as one of these uh, institutions here. Now if you're not using online banking for your business, uh, that's something you should set up uh, pretty quickly. Um, so if you're not one of these institutions, not, not to worry, you can still use the My Payment system. Uh, I'll show you how to do it in a second. Let's go to Start My Payment. Again, here are the financial institutions, BMO, Scotia, RBC, TD. Now, if you're not one of these banks and you're using online banking, you can click on the link here. It says, why is my financial institution not listed? And it will actually take you to the portal of uh, your financial institution. You'll still be able to use, uh, you'll still be able to pay the balance online. It just will be through your own financial assistance portal and not using the CRA My Payment System. So let's say you're one of these banks. Um, we'll click continue. Now, another thing to note before using the My Payment System, it uses the Interact Online Transfer. Now, the Interact Online Transfer system has a, a limit on to how much you can transfer. Now, some banks are going to allow you to transfer up to maybe $3,000, sometimes less, uh, can be as low as $1,000. So how much you're actually allowed to transfer to, at one time is going to be dependent on your bank. If you're trying to transfer something that's... Um, that's beyond your limit. Uh, not to worry, there's a way to do that through the My Business account, but we'll get to that another time. Right now, let's, we're going to deal with small balances that your Interact online transfer can handle. So here we are in the Select a Payment page. Now, as you can see, you can pay your T1 balance, that's your personal return, um, your child and family benefits payments. Uh, here's the GST HST that we spoke about. You've got payroll source deductions here, corporate income tax. So there's a number of different things that you can pay here using this system. So we talked about GST HST, so let's click on this. If you're a small business, you're probably just going to pay through payment on filing, which really means uh, you filed your HST return online or GST return online, and you just need to pay the balance. Here you've got other types of payments as well, which are installment payments, etc. So 90% of the time you're going to be doing a payment on filing. So let's click through here. So this screen looks like your GST HST return. You need to pin in here your nine-digit account number. So I'm going to pin in a fake one here. It's going to be RT, that's for GST HST, 0001 usually. It could be 0002 or 3, depending on your situation, but it's usually 0001. And we'll pin in the year of the HST return. Let's say it's the end of January 2013. And let's say we need to pay 1500 bucks. So we'll pay 1500 in there. And that's it, and then you would click continue. Now it's not gonna let me continue because I put in a fake business number, but as soon as you click continue, it's gonna take you to another screen and log you into your bank, uh, through your online banking account, and there you can pay the balance. So that's it, if you have any questions about using the My Payment System, you can email me at josh at liveca.ca. Thanks a lot.